Hi, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about why create vendor uh, page name in uh, in banking. So when you create uh, uh, categorized transactions, why do you need vendor? So that's the focus of this video. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online. So this is just a demo thing. Okay. So uh, you go to banking and uh, you will see all the downloaded transactions and you need to categorize those. And if you don't see pay, just go to the mi middle uh, gear icon here and select pay. Okay. And uh, uh, in this case, I have only a few in your, in your case, it may be uh, uh, more. Okay, so the uh, first one is uh, uh, Hicks Hardware. Uh, and so this, this, this tells, tells you uh, you have uh, previously uh, bought uh, uh, something from Hicks Hardware, you know, it's, it's because it's it, it's uh, it's listed in here. Okay, so uh, so why do you need to create assign this vendor list? Can't I just have assigned the uh, uh, ca experience category and uh, not worry about the uh, vendor and stuff okay so that's the focus of this video so first of all if you are paying to your uh, contractors and at the year end you may need to assign uh, send out your uh, send out the 1099 so in order to do that you would need to assign vendor uh, as pay that's the only way you can you can go to the expenses uh, expenses tab and select vendor and then you will have all the prepared 1099. Uh, if you don't assign vendor, then there's nothing in there. Okay, so that's why first thing that that's why you need to uh, do that. Other thing is, you know, uh, if you want to find out, hey, how much money I spent on uh, paid to this uh, insurance company, you know, uh, if you click it here, it will tell you all uh, the detail in here, you know. Okay, and if you don't assign vendor. It won't show up in here at all you know you will have account category but uh, but it won't show up under vendor detail list okay so so if you want to vendor transaction list then you need to assign a vendor okay so let's go back to uh, banking okay so Hicks hardware or oh, you know the, the banking is showing uh, Although you 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 know you are, you bought probably bought something from X hardware, but it's not assigning uh, account carry. So you need to you can go back and find out how you did it last time. It's better to be consistent, you know. So let's type X hardware. Okay, so last time you bought it, and you bought a lot in here. So you just go to uh, you assign to. Uh, you know sprinklers and drip system so it depends what you know what, what is this for if it, this, this is for job specific this happens to be job specific type that's why they assign this okay so uh so it's better to be consistent you know like a uh, whenever you uh pay to insurance company you know it, it goes to insurance right one one account uh you don't want to have uh uh one time uh insurance and other time uh uh, miscellaneous in this case is uh, some this is a demo thing it's opening balancing so you know it, it, it's better to be consistent you know category you pay to uh, insurance company it goes to insurance simple as that okay so now I'm gonna assign this Hicks and I got this and so this is the uh, cost of goods sold and jobs one Okay, so it's it went to last time we went to sprinkler strip system. Let's say that's the one you want. You click that one, and now if you go back to your vendor transaction list and under Hicks, you will see this uh, this transaction in here. right here 
X hardware in here. This is the one we just added, you know. Okay, so now you got an idea. Uh, now the other thing is, so now we have, uh, uh, this is probably return, you know, your bottom books and you return it, you know. And so books by Bessie, now we need to find out, you know, um, what account category uh, you have uh, when you originally bought this. Okay, so let's go to books by Bessie again. Okay, so it says uh, legal and professional as a bookkeeper. Okay, so let's select to that same account that you originally charged. Okay, see right here. Professional and bookkeeper. You bought it, went to this account, you returned uh, some of it. After return, it see the same account. That's not your income. Okay, so let's add it. Okay, in this case, uh, you don't have uh, uh, your account category yet. So just add this. Let's say A1 rental. So it's A1 rental. Oh, yeah, we have one in here too. Okay, so. Okay, A1 rental, same thing. So just go to uh, vendors and find out historical uh, transactions. Okay, in this case, they have assigned A1 rental, but uh, but they haven't uh, uh, added any transactions yet. Okay, so now you got the vendor A1 rental, and just figure out your rental. All right, I'm just going to select one rental in here, equipment rental. Okay, so that's good. Click this one. And so now you got the equipment rental. See, the moment you add those, uh, it will uh, it will figure out uh, on the next transaction. Same thing. So add twelve hundred dollars. But I didn't assign. But then just ask you, do you want to create a, a rule? So whenever you have A one rental, do you assign to the same uh, account category? Uh, if you want, then say yes. Go ahead. Okay. So next time you it will save you time. Okay. So this one is return, but. Uh, it's uh, you know it's in the same account category. See right here. Okay, so let's add. So now you, if you go to the A1, you will see the transaction, all the transaction listed in here, right here. See. Okay, so that's the focus of this video. Uh, hope uh, you like this video and give us a thumbs up. Thank you.